As we research alternative fuels, weighing up the relative merits of the likes of ammonia, hydrogen and methanol, transition fuels offer the means of reducing shipping's carbon emissions right now. Sharon Thomas has this report. Our latest formulation that we have here. Um, in a bespoke test facility in Essex, a next generation maritime fuel goes under the microscope. Its significance is not lost on the team behind developing it. I'm very proud of the work that we're doing here. I think it could really have a, a big impact in making the world a more carbon neutral place. Laura is a senior chemist at Quadrize Fuels. According to the company, this product is a world first, a renewable emulsion fuel for shipping called BioMSAR. This is where we're taking MSAR. Developed in less than a year, it's the brainchild of the boss, one of the world's leading emulsion experts. With BioMSAR, what we were looking to do is take our existing product, MSAR, uh, incorporate a renewable fuel. We're taking glycerin, which is not being utilised by anyone else in the sector, to offer a new biofuel, BioMSAR, which offers a 20 to 30% reduction in CO2 emissions. Research is the key to ensuring that transition fuels can offer shipping an immediate low-cost means of cutting emissions today. A vital step towards tomorrow's eventual decarbonisation of the industry, and some of that starts with this exhaust pipe in Kent. Aquafuel Research is a technology development company which works with the likes of Formula E and VW Motorsport to develop glycerine as a fuel. They've been collaborating with Quadria since 2020 to optimise BioMSAR as a fuel for shipping and power generation. This is the BioMSAR drum. The fuel is fed in through a pump and then a heater before being injected into what is essentially a standard diesel engine. This is a small-scale replica of what you'd have in a ship or power plant. Our collaboration is really important because it gives an opportunity to decarbonise shipping. So shipping fuel is a huge volume, it's about 200 million tonnes a year, and there's no way that there's enough, for instance, used cooking oil to address that kind of volume, and there never will be. But glycerin does offer an opportunity to scale something up that can actually supplant and replace fossil fuels in shipping. Pilot scale testing is essential here to ensure that quadrize and aquafuel are optimising the combustion of BioMSAR and scaling it up so it can match the volumes consumed to help secure a greener and more economical future for shipping. We believe that shipping companies have the potential to have the best of both worlds with BioMSAR because they can optimise their fuel costs whilst at the same time optimising its performance in terms of emission savings and because the economics for BioMSAR work if the the price of the glycerin per unit energy is lower than competitive biofuels, which it is. Formed in 2006, Quadrize Fuels' work is evolving to mirror a growing demand for more sustainable energy products. It's a commercially driven operation with a positive environmental and economic impact. This recently helped the company to secure the funding they need to commercialise their products. Quadrice came to the market and we hit a real sweet spot when institutional investors were really focusing on environmental, social and governance issues. They saw the work that we uh, earlier launched on BioMSAR, that really interested them and that really propelled the funding for us. And I think it's that that is going to make the real difference for us as an organisation. In the coming months, Quadrize will be running large-scale fuel tests and are planning several commercial MSC container ships to be running solely on their fuel to obtain final certification. Following that, they hope to have BioMSAR in full-scale production alongside MSAR. Back in the lab in Clacton-on-Sea, Laura continues her extensive work on this new fuel, work that belongs in a new chapter in British shipping innovation. Quadrize, cleaner fuel for a cleaner planet.